Welcome to a very simple tutorial which is going to heavily rely on the last video that we uploaded here in our channel and it's all about this asset that I provided called Easy Wheels which is the first version. I'm currently working on a new update but that will be updated very shortly in my YouTube channel. So in order for you to get this scene working first you're going to have to get the asset link that I provided down in the video description and then if you want this very beautiful scene or a racetrack you if you may call it like that you can download that as well it is kindly provided from this gentleman in discord you can check him out if you want to he was cool enough to send me a copy of his map and we're going to test it up but before we do that first we are going to set up our scene so how we're going to set up our scene is actually quite simple so the first thing that we are going to do is open up our tools vehicle so you know the drill you can just set up your car put in a wheel and then you can just set up your car with the wheels and then what you're going to have to do is attach in a car controller but that's not very important right now we already discussed this in a previous video what's important is this wheels manager so if you don't have this script or you maybe just want this very script you can copy this here's the whole entire script you don't need this on GUI by the way so here is the whole script and it's actually magical this script is magical so what it does is it basically simulates Forza Horizon inside of unity and it actually works we're gonna check it out in just a moment but first let's talk about what it does you have a base tire grip that you can set from very slippery to very grippy so I recommend it having around here and then you have these grip values so this is the amount of slip that you're going to have into your car so typically you want more friction going forward and less friction going sideways and also you want to cap that friction because you can only slip so much so i recommend capping it from 0.55 to around 80 but you can play around with the values and also you have these modifiers so this is basically to keep your car into the track and not just go right into the wall so that's a very rough presentation of what this wheels manager does and if you pair this wheels manager with the anti-roll bar and the car controller that i provided into the last video you can get this so i'll shut up for now and i'll just let you enjoy the gameplay you can actually run this into 4k and it runs quite well mind you i have a rtx so maybe that's that's gotta have to do something with it but it's actually very optimized so here's the gameplay And as we can see, we may need a little bit more slip and we can just bring this clamp minimum down to 0.65 maybe. Okay, so that's it about this video. I hope you can set this up for yourself. Maybe build a complete racing game out of this. And I hope you liked it. This is a very short video, I know, but I just want to let you know that you can just take these assets and build your game as you like. And I've seen a lot of people asking me why I don't use custom wheel colliders and make them my own. And the answer for that is, I don't have to. The Unity Wheel Collider works just fine. It just needs a little bit of tweaking and it works just fine, as we can see in here. It's very responsive, it's very beautiful. It's not that optimized, but you can optimize it very easily 
with a little bit of scripting. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll be back very shortly.